See what's new in RAD Studio 10.2. RAD Studio 10.2 adds 64-bit Linux server support for the Delphi language and provides support for server-side applications. This includes console applications, web broker and data snap applications, as well as support for RAD server development and deployment, both standalone or as Apache modules. Applications can also access data via FireDAP, Embarcadero's high-performance data access library. With RAD Studio 10.2, you can build a Delphi console application targeting Linux servers. For example, you can easily get the OS version returned as a string and displayed with a right-line statement. We can deploy this console application to both Windows and Linux without any code changes. Running it on Windows, we see the expected output. Via the Target Platform's right-click menu, you can add Linux support to your console application. Using a connection to your Linux PA server, you can debug your Linux application right from the IDE. We can see the output from the console app in the event log window, and we can inspect the variables in memory too, just like you would expect. With Delphi Linux server support in RAT Studio 10.2, you can also build, deploy, and debug a standalone web broker module on Linux. For example, you can deploy the same application designed for Windows servers to your Linux servers. On Windows, we can start the web server and test it from the browser and see our response as expected. We can then deploy the same application to our Linux server or make some changes. For example, we can set the server to start automatically in the run server method right before the while loop and update the message shown in the browser after deploying the application to our Linux server and connecting to it from the browser. RAD Studio 10.2 provides Linux distribution support for Ubuntu and Red Hat Enterprise Edition. Linux support in RAD Studio 10.2 is available in the Enterprise Edition and above. Delphi Linux Server provides support for RTL features including Linux file system access, threading and parallel programming library support, memory management, and HTTP and REST library support for HTTP calls. RAD Studio 10.2 includes full support for remote debugging on a Linux system and a Linux compiler is ARC enabled. RAD Studio 10.2 offers a range of new features and improvements for FireDAC, Embarcadero's high performance data access library. FireDAC's in memory dataset component, FDMEM table, now allows you to edit the dataset at design time. This new FDMEM table feature can be used when connecting to REST services using our REST component framework or when connecting to the most popular enterprise databases. The context menu provides the edit dataset item for editing the component data and saving it to the form. The data is available at runtime. RAD Studio 10.2 provides a variety of database improvements, including support for MariaDB, a popular branch of the MySQL database, and enhancements to the VCL DB image component. RAD Server is a turnkey application foundation for rapidly building and deploying services-based applications. You can easily create a RAD Server package using either Object Pascal or C++, register a specific resource, and write code to handle corresponding events. Accessing those APIs is incredibly easy with wizards and ready-to-use components. With multi-tenancy support in 10.2, a single RAD server instance with a single RAD server database connection can now support multiple isolated tenants. Each tenant has a unique set of RAD server resources, including users, groups, installations, edge modules, and other data. In a retail store chain scenario, each store with its employees and goods is a tenant implementation. Managers can add new store items, delete them, and edit the details of the existing ones while cashiers can only view the information about the existing goods. Neither employee can see the information about the other stores in the chain. Manage users and devices associated with each tenant implementation using the Management Console application or the separate multi-tenant console to add, edit, or delete tenants. Deploy RAD Server with multi-tenancy support to Windows and Linux servers with RAD Studio 10.2. RAD Studio 10.2 provides better support for debugging C++ applications. Local variables and code built with the Clang Enhanced Compilers for Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit can now always be evaluated in watches or the local variables view. 
When code has two local variables with the same name and different scopes in a method, variable evaluation can now resolve both and display the correct one depending on the current location. Class names are now always displayed in the call stack. You can also build with even higher optimizations with the O3 level, which can up to double compiled code performance. The linker has been tuned for modern application usage. The linker is now large address aware, allowing you to take advantage of up to 4 GB of memory. RAS CD 10.2 also offers improved heap and resource handling. External types greatly reduces debug info duplication for Clang32, resulting in a reduction of the debug info size. This advanced feature is also available in BCC32 and can now be leveraged in a Clang enhanced compiler for Windows 32 bit applications. The FireMonkey framework in RAD Studio 10.2 provides full support for building apps for Windows 10, macOS Sierra, iOS 10, and Android 7 Nougat, in addition to older versions of the operating systems. Two new properties for changing the behavior of the system status bar on iOS have been added. Quickly set the visibility and fill color of the iOS status bar to match your toolbar color. Two new FireMonkey styles have also been added. A graphite style for macOS and a dark blue style for Android Wear devices. Also new is multi-threading support for T-Bitmap, T-Canvas and T-Context 3D, enhancements to the Windows version of T-Web Browser, and improved user interaction management for T-MultiView. FireMonkey in 10.2 also includes a range of additional features and enhancements throughout the framework. In RAD Studio 10.2, we've enhanced the view menu to improve overall navigation and visibility on high-resolution displays. Tool windows such as the Object Inspector, Structure and Messages have been moved to a Tool Windows submenu just below the existing Debug Windows submenu. A new Editor submenu contains a number of editor actions and useful features from the Editor's Context menu. Other items have been moved to keep related items adjacent to each other. In the Project Manager, you can now right-click on a project and choose Show and Explore to view the project files. The menu item is also accessible from the Code Editor tabs in the IDE. The IDE boasts additional enhancements in 10.2 including improved high DPI support and better large project group support. 